Uh, at the Community Foundation, we're all about improving the quality of life in Lexington and the communities we serve, and in particular, helping grow a robust culture of charitable giving. We are very proud of our longstanding relationship with the John S. and James L. Knight Foundation. Uh, there are only 26 communities across the United States that are considered night communities and because of that we have special opportunities on an ongoing basis and today is one example of those as we announce the winners of the Night Cities Challenge Competition for 2016. Uh, today, the Knight Foundation is announcing 37 winners across the United States, and two of those winners are in Lexington. This is only the second year of the Knight Cities competition. Last year, we had one winner, so we've had a 100% increase, so that's great news. Uh, and what's very exciting for us is uh, both of our winners are going to help us further our efforts around Town Branch Commons. Uh, Town Branch Commons is uh, the plan to bring a 2.5 mile linear greenway through the heart of downtown Lexington with greatly enhanced or world-class bike and pedestrian facilities. It will help us reimagine four parks, including this one where we're standing today, and create two new parks. And we're excited that our Night Cities Challenge winners uh, are uh, going to help us, as I said, further that effort. It is my pleasure today to introduce Vice Mayor Steve Kay. Uh, we fully support the city's effort to make Lexington one of the greatest American cities, and Steve's going to tell us a little bit more about our winners. Thank you, Lisa, and welcome to all of you. And I, I apologize uh, for not having the temperature a little uh, higher than it is but I appreciate everybody coming out today. It is a special pleasure for me to uh, represent Mayor Gray, who could not be here to bring you greetings from the city, and also to bring my own kind of personal perspective on how exciting it is that we have this park full of people, that we have a project, a set of projects, that really is a kind of a, a ex exemplifies what a city can do when the city the library, Lextran, the Downtown Development Authority, all cooperate and get together and work on something special. I'm going to be speaking right into that. People are having some trouble hearing you. Thanks. As usual, I'm too soft-spoken, so I'm not going to repeat everything I said. It was very important, but I'm going to let it go. <laughs> but I will say I appreciate being here on behalf of the city. Um, what we have, I think, as I said, is a, I will repeat one part, and that is that it's a, it's a great um, example of how collaboration and cooperation can move something forward. And um, as Lisa said, I've been a long time a booster for downtown. Th these two projects are going to help a whole lot. And I also want to um, add a word about the Bluegrass Community Foundation that has been the driver behind a lot of this and what a great job they do. So. I also want to acknowledge our last year's winner. We have a bunch of representatives, I'm not going to call each of them out, from the uh, North Limestone um, Community Development Corporation, which, has, which got a big grant as part of this project last year. So this year, the city's challenge asked applicants to answer the questions, what's your best idea for making your city most successful? There were 4,500 applicants who took the time to think about and write about and and uh, submit a proposal to the Knight Foundation for something that would make their city more successful. Lisa said we had, Lexington had five finalists and of course two of those got chosen and both of those fit with the Town Branch Commons plan. So the winning projects, first Phoenix Forward and that is a project to transform Phoenix Park and Central Library into a place where people from diverse backgrounds can learn, play, and relax together. I'll help you in a minute, sir. The project will create complementary park and library programming. And secondly, parking lot diaries, creating a living civic engagement lab in a parking lot next to the transit center that will tra test and track temporary activities in order to build community support to turn the area into a vibrant public space. So those are the two. Why don't we give both of those a big hand. And it's now my pleasure to uh, introduce 
Jeff Fugate from the Downtown Development Authority, who will speak a little more about the parking lot diaries. Jeff? Well, it really is 10 degrees colder over here. Uh, so I will be quick, and I invite you to come up, take a look at the posters. You can learn about the projects here. You can read about us in the paper today, and I won't take too long. But I do want to, I do want to reiterate something that I did, uh, I did say to, uh, to the paper, which is, what's really exciting from where I sit is, we've got an opportunity to do, you know, to do a couple of great projects. Um, we've got opportunities to do a really great project in the big vision of the Town Branch Commons. And but what is also really exciting is is that a national funder like Knight Foundation is really excited about what we're doing here in Lexington. And there's a lot of people around the country paying attention to us right now. And I think that that's uh, while not surprising, pretty awesome. And so I just wanted to acknowledge that that the work that all of you all are doing is what's gotten the attention of of a, of a foundation like Knight, so that they feel like they can make an investment like this in us. So we appreciate you guys laying the groundwork. We look forward to working on this project over the next couple of years. And like I said, I invite you to come up here and take a look at our posters. Uh, I have Ann Hammond say a few words from the library's perspective. Well, hello, everybody. Thank you for coming out here. Um, the Central Library is the literal as well as figurative heart of downtown Lexington. And the Phoenix Park is the front porch of the library. Uh, the library is a community-wide resource for learning. And with the support from the Knight Foundation, we will be able to engage with our city in innovative new ways. Uh, we're going to bring the library outside into the park and we're going to bring interactive activities from the park inside the library. It's going to be a lot of fun and we look forward to working with Parks and Recreation to make this happen. Um, thank you all again for being here. Enjoy the ice cream, enjoy the music, enjoy the park and the library and have a beautiful, beautiful day. Thanks.